my name is uh, Peter Murray. Uh, I'm a, a hand and microvascular surgeon at Mayo Clinic in uh, Florida. Um, I thought I would take a few minutes and uh, discuss with you uh, a fairly common condition uh, called carpal tunnel syndrome. Chances are you uh, have a relative or a friend or know someone that's had carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, carpal tunnel syndrome uh, is often uh, indicated by a, a feeling of numbness and tingling in the fingertips, specifically the thumb, the index, and the long finger. We refer to those as paresthesias. And a lot of times uh, patients will come to see me or other physicians um, because their fingers uh, go to sleep at night. It'll actually uh, wake them up in the middle of the night, and we call that nocturnal paresthesias. In any event, that's the, that's the classic symptom of carpal tunnel syndrome, numbness and tingling in the fingers. Um, other things that patients uh, sometimes complain of are actual pain in the fingers and the hand, uh, also clumsiness uh, of the hand. Well, what exactly is carpal tunnel syndrome? Uh, carpal tunnel syndrome uh, is a condition where the main nerve, the median nerve that goes into the hand, gets compressed in this area we refer to as the carpal tunnel. And the carpal tunnel uh, is really nothing more than a space uh, in the wrist that has a boundary above by a, a piece of thick tissue we call a ligament and then bones on the other side. So it's a confined compartment. And sometimes that th ligament <coughs> uh, gets thick and it puts pressure on the nerve. And all in all, we call this a peripheral neuropathy. In any event, when that compression occurs, that's when the symptoms start. Uh, the first line of treatment for carpal tunnel syndrome is a splint. Simply wearing a splint at night, in many cases, uh, will take away the symptoms and ultimately cure the condition if, if the condition is diagnosed early, say within the first several months. Uh, a lot of times patients present later on in the condition and injections in, in, in addition to the splinting may be helpful. For patients that have had long-standing carpal tunnel syndrome, your uh, physician uh, and even a referring physician may sometimes get, get what's called a nerve conduction velocity study or EMG. And these studies are designed to uh, itemize how well the nerve is actually conducting electricity into the hand. <clears throat> and what we see in carpal tunnel syndrome is that pressure phenomenon actually slows down the conduction of the nerve into the hand and the brain perceives it as numbness and tingling. Uh, when carpal tunnel syndrome is more advanced, like in the, the, uh, the situation where this numbness and tingling is constant uh, and the hand is uh, weak, actually we can sometimes even see muscle wasting. But in those situations where the uh, symptoms are more advanced, then uh, we typically um, recommend carpal tunnel decompressive surgery. Now carpal tunnel surgery is a very common operation that's performed every day across the United States and around the world. There are several different ways to perform the surgery um, and we offer all types of surgeries uh, here at Mayo Clinic. The way that I prefer to do it is through a very small incision about the size of a, say a centimeter in length or half an inch in length uh, right here at the base of the palm. And through that small incision, then we can release that ligament, that piece of tissue that I talked about earlier, and decompress the nerve. <clears throat> By doing that, it generally relieves the symptoms immediately, but certainly over time, we usually see the symptoms go away. Um, and that ligament is a ligament that actually you can do without. The rehabilitation process uh, takes about four weeks, and we would expect most people to get back to all activities by four weeks to six weeks. One of the unique things uh, about Mayo Clinic in Florida is that we have a hand clinic that offers a multidisciplinary approach to taking care of carpal tunnel syndrome uh, that, that in includes not only a, um, uh, a hand surgeon like myself, but also physician assistants and occupational therapists <coughs> who concentrate on the therapy and the rehabilitation after carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, if you'd like more information uh, about carpal tunnel syndrome, you can visit our website uh, or uh, additionally uh, call and make an appointment to see me to take care of the carpal tunnel syndrome.